the Fords. They sell <laughs> memberships. Go. I like where you're going. The mids, they sell sponsorships. Yes. And the backs, we win premierships. <laughs>Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, of course, she looks after the, the king of Western Australia <laughs> first. You get yours. I like this because I used to run out in the ground scared of seeing you. Now I'm not so scared anymore. We're having a coffee. <laughs> there was one time, I think, Neil Danaher was uh, your coach. Yep. And uh, he played you at Centre Ford and he told you to just keep running around because I was big and slow and <laughs> I couldn't keep up. And you gave me the shits that day. <laughs> you did. I you remember did. I was well. trying to chase you and I says, you'd be lucky to leave Subiaco over. <laughs> If you keep doing that, you know, and you just kept running out, taking marks. And I did a little bit of wee came out. I did get a little bit scared. But <laughs> who, to your mind, was the best defender? Let's go from the 2000 onwards, because previous to that, that's your era. And I don't want to... We know who the best before that was. Ooh, it was you. But yeah, after that, yeah. who, who was your best? Thanks for clarifying. Yeah. That. <laughs> um, I'd go Alex Rance um, yeah, right. at Richmond. Five All-Australians consecutively. With Alex, I felt that not only did he lead that whole back six, yeah. they built that first premiership around him. They talk about Dusty, and we know how good Dusty is, but... So you're going to go Alex Rance I'll go, over Matty Scarlett? I'll go Alex Rance. What? Um, yeah. Turn it up, Well, Jacko. I just felt he played on the, the bigger players. He was more central in the contest, whereas Matty Scarlett, out-and-out out champion, Hall of Famer, but he was the, he was the loose one that... They went through yeah, and right. he was the rebounder, whereas right. Alex was brutally strong now, I've got and to, dominate yeah, his position. Yeah, I played on Ramsey and he just he was a stopper and he, best, but what about the toughest? Would you pick Silvani or Scarlett? Because maybe you can change my mind about what you're saying with Ramsey and Scarlo. Silvani. I'd pick Scarlo over Stephen Silvani. I think he's more polished, better ball use. Um, a I'd huge go, goal. I'd go Scarlett. Yeah. And considering as a, a fullback, not only did he beat you, but he had the ability to win his own football. And I thought he was a great reader of the play. Sauce was a bit dour Lank, and you know, lanky. just you know, he <laughs> maul you to death. But for me, Scarlo was not only great in the air, great physically. You got to remember, uh, fullback is the most is the graveyard position. Yes, and he's playing on some of the best uh, yeah. forwards in the competition. You stuff it up there, yeah. it's going over your head. Why don't we talk so much about the fullback? It should be more about the centre half forward and the centre half back. No, well, it? hardest see, two positions on the field. It, it to play. is hardest. But it, let me give you a summation of uh, the forwards. They sell memberships. <laughs> yes, we do. All right, you bums guys, you put bums on seats, Thank you yep. sell memberships. I like where you're going. The mids, they sell sponsorships. Yes. And the backs, we win premierships. <laughs> That's as simple as that. <laughs>